Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your attention. Hello, everyone. And today I'm going to explain uh, to you how basically we cover the topic of Atlantic bluefin tuna uh, overfishing and how we address European Commission's um, DJ Mary on that topic. <coughs> so what are we talking about? We talk about the Atlantic bluefin tuna, which is one of the species of tuna, um, which is a migratory, predator and very demanded and expensive, expensive fish. Where you can find uh, this fish um, in uh, the Atlantic Ocean, the Mexican uh, Gulf, the Baltic Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, which is the most important fishery in the world for that, for that uh, uh, um, species. So um, why the situation is uh, alarming? Um, you can say from the uh, 1950s to um, today, we basically um, have seen that 85% of the stock has gone away uh, of that species. Um, I have to highlight three points. In till 1998, here, basically there were no uh, quota system um, in the, at the international level. Uh, in 2006, the situation was such alarming that we decided to basically have a recovery plan to uh, avoid the depletion, complete depletion of the species. But what you can say with this arrow is that uh, between 2014 and today, we start to fish and coat more of that species again. Um, and I'll explain to you um, in detail a bit later. Uh, although this species is still considered as endangered, as you can see uh, here below in the uh, Red List International Ranking. So how is it uh, regulated? How this fishing is regulated? Everything is um, discussed and, and regulated at the international level, at the ICAT, so the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas. This commission uh, is bringing together 52 par contracting parties, um, the EU including, um, um, with eight fishing member states, and Japan, to which we um, export 80% of all the Atlantic bluefin tuna caught in the Mediterranean Sea and other countries. So basically, it is working on a consensus decision making. So trade-off and compromises are common practice, as usual. And it's regulating on every topics that concern uh, Atlantic bluefin tuna fishing, such as the total allowable catches, the quotas, how much per country, what use, um, the fishing techniques allowed it, the forbidden ones, and the reporting, tracking, and control systems. But what is uh, the problem is uh, uh, um, that basically there is a huge illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. Um, scientists used to say that maybe 50% of the actual fish caught is unreported illegally. So um, how can we assess the remaining stock if we basically we don't know how many fishes are still in the ocean and in the seas? Uh, in October 2008, um, the European police found basically uh, illegal trade uh, network of Atlantic bluefin tuna worth of 12 billion euros per year. So basically, they were trading illegally and reportedly 10% um, of the total allowable catch of the whole world, just this network. So you can imagine how, how dramatic the situation is with this illegal fishing. Um, in 2007, as I said on the previous slide, uh, we launched a recovery plan which was supposed to, to last till 2022. But in 2018, ICATS, lobbies, etc., decide that we can move to a management plan, which is way less stringent and strict for the, for the measures and the criteria, four years before the official deadline. Um, moreover, in 2017, uh, we decided, I mean, we, the ICATS, uh, to increase the quotas to 36,000, which is basically twice the quotas of 2015. So now you can understand why this arrow on the first graph. And um, finally, um, this tuna is a predator, as I said. So it, is, it has a key role in the, food, uh, in the food chain, which basically can threaten the ecosystem with the depletion. Um, juveniles are usually uh, uh, caught and breed in fattening ranches, uh, which means that they don't have the time to spawn and to uh, basically ensure the future generations. Um, and finally, other species are endangered. First, sea turtles, birds, for instance, with the fishing techniques, large nets, drifting lines, etc. But also, indirectly, with um, these ranches, juveniles, as explained, in these fattening ranches, we use sardines and mackerels as food, which is already overfished species. So what do we um, uh, suggest as solutions? 
how uh, do we address DG Mare? Basically, at the ICAT level, we ask the European Union and the European Commission and then the, European, the uh, DG Mare to ask uh, for the reduce of the total allowable catch to no more than 28,000, so no 36,000, but 28. Um, we ask them to reduce the quota allocated to farming, both to leave the juveniles the time, the time to spawn and also to limit the impact on small pelagic already overfished, as I've just mentioned. And we also ask to not consider less stringent measures on fishing techniques, on adding derogations to the minimum size of allowed uh, 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 catch and on extending open fishing uh, seasons. Within the EU, practically speaking, what the Jamara can do is to tackle the IUU fishing, as we called, by filling the loopholes in the electronic documentation system, which basically replaced the paper-based system a couple of years ago, by increasing transparency of transshipments, and by better cooperating between member states in the monitoring, the surveillance, and the control um, of these uh, this fishing practices. We also uh, would like to reduce uncertainties, uncertainties in stock assessment by investing in new technologies, um, in research and innovation to practically uh, properly assess uh, uh, the remaining stock of uh, bluefin tuna uh, uh, in the Atlantic and Mediterranean. Um, we want DGMRA to push member states to allocate higher quotas to small-scale fishery. This is more social inclusion uh, um, issue, but which has a uh, big impact on the environment as well. And we would like them to conduct an independent invi investigation on the scandal uh, um, I, I introduced a couple of minutes ago by focusing especially on the role of corruption in, th in that case. These are my references. Thank you for listening.